our guidance is advised. They were both naked and they were not ashamed. Good evening. My name is Oluwatoyi Olalekon. I want to welcome you specially again to another exciting moment on Living Couple. This is a program for couples where God has been intervening in homes and marriages. And I have assurance, I have that confidence that the God that has been doing it for others, for those that are having problems in their marriages, the Lord will visit your home. We talk about love, we talk about togetherness and the counsel of the Almighty God. All we do here, we have said it, is to answer questions, talk about marriages, and see how far God can take us in our various It does not be an exception in the mighty name of Jesus. All right, we have special people in the house tonight. They are faces you know. And they are smiling already. And you know, their smile is just welcoming you, telling you that they are happy to see you. And today too, I know the guests too, the viewers are happy to see them. We have with us tonight, uh, Pastor Tokumbo Areola. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma. He Good is evening. the special husband. <laughs> the one and only. I like that. Mm, <laughs> to sunshine. You can see it's always uh, have you. Oh to that God. people, <laughs> do they blush? Uh, I think yes. It's, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to the mm -hmm. one we refer to as the sunshine, I be the light. <laughs> eh? Anywhere you see the yellow torch, you see the light. Uh, yes, we have uh, Pastor Mrs. Gold Adioye with us tonight. We want to say you are welcome, ma'am. Thank you, mommy. The Lord bless you. Amen. You can see her shining. Oh, my God. Thank God to, for, for Pastor Adioye, <laughs> our brother. Taking Abby. care of uh, mm. our wonderful sister. Thank you. Yes, man. if you are just joining us for the first time, um, you are you are you're wondering what this program is all about. We do topics concerning couples, marriages, issues, and how to make your home better. And if you've never watched any of our episodes, please you can check on the YouTube. You will get to watch our past episodes. But before we start all things, we want to ask Pastor Tokumbarela to please lead us in a short word of prayer. Daddy Lord, we thank you. Thank we you, appreciate and honor your holy name yes, because Lord. we know that in this program you always do us good. Yes, Lord. May your name be praised forever in the name of Jesus. Amen. So as we embark on this journey, we ask that you please go with us. Amen. Teach us your word. Give Amen. us deeper understanding Amen. of what marriage is all about. Amen. And so Daddy, we ask for peace in all homes. Amen. We pray for all our viewers. Amen. Please reach out to them. Amen. Through Force we make it Amen. to heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. You. Yes, um, tonight we have so many questions that we need to quickly run over because of our time. And I want to just start. <laughs> you are already smiling. I think the question is going to be very good for, for Pastor Tokumbo <laughs> because the way he's smiling is receiving it. Okay. Yes, this person says, God bless you, sir and ma. You are doing a great job here. My question is, palm wine <coughs> and wine, is it acceptable for a child of God to present during traditional marriage? Palm wine, to start with, palm wine contains alcohol, to the best of my knowledge, oh. and um, anything alcoholic is not advisable for so many reasons. Oh. Reason number one, the Bible says, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? I want you to look at it. Um, maybe as a lady, you want to get married to a man. Asking the man to bring something that God dislikes. You are, laying, you are, you are basing your foundation on, on something that is not good and is, is not going to you know, you know, work well for you. Now, apart from that, if you ask the medical people, 
They tell you anything alcohol, anything alcoholic is not, it's not even good for your health. Well, some people will say uh, palm wine is good, but well, I don't know. But the truth of the matter is anything alcoholic is not good for the organs in the body. It's not good for your heart. It's not good for your lungs. It's not good for your alimentary canal. Mm. Then the other one you're talking about wine, you have to define it. Mm. If it's non-alcoholic, it mm. can be it's a, it's a, it's a acceptable. Okay. But if it is alcoholic, mm. um, we should avoid things like that, okay. especially things that has, um, uh, that is that a bit controversial. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. Things that can intoxicate, we should avoid it. Mm. Okay. She avoid it. You want to say anything? Well, Daria said it all. Because you can't build a right house on the wrong foundation. But uh, parents are not born again. You know, if your parents are not born again, and um, you probably want to go for your traditional marriage, mm -hmm. and probably you are from this part of the country where it, that is what they recognize. Mm -hmm. That day is not the day to convert your parents. Mm -hmm. Mm. That day you can't be preaching salvation to them. Mm. So just not to cause trouble, okay? Mm. You might just maybe allow your parents, but not to your spouse, because I why want to believe that you and your spouse are born again. No, I think this time around, this person is talking about presenting, you know. You know, normally maybe from your list, the list uh, you normally give. Okay. They can put uh, five carton of uh, whatever, alcoholic uh, drink and things, or maybe if palm wine. If people already know you as a Christian, they won't demand such from you. Mm. I had my own traditional wedding, and they brought all sorts of lists. And my father told them, you know I'm a pastor. Mm. I said, you can't be asking this. And they said, yes, yes, yes. Oh, we know, we know. Hey, mm. Paeme, we know, we know. Mm. So it mm. also denotes to how well... How, 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 how loud is your Christian? They come to your house and be mm. dancing palongo if they know that you are a Christian. Mm. So, wrong foundation. Mm. so if they're writing their list, alcohol, uh, tai tai, kai kai, they're writing everything, like in some culture, you will already tell them, I'm a Christian, I can't yeah. give you all this. Mm. So I think you also setting it right early, early. is also very important. Setting it right, early. letting them know. Let they should know that you're a Christian. It's not on the day of it's your wedding. Not, thank you now you. be telling that I'm a Christian, I don't do this. They should have known through your character. Yeah. They should have known through your going to church. Mm. They should have known through the way you talk with them during yeah. your village meeting. Yeah. The way you do. So when they are bringing their kai kai and their uguro, everything, you they won't know. even bring it close to you. In fact, they will be saying it among themselves that, uh, leave this one out to oh, Napasto. Mm. Uh -huh. So please, let's take notes. Excuse me, let me also tell our viewers so that you can know that what we are saying here they are scriptural proverbs chapter 20 verse 1 okay. proverbs 21 he said wine is a mocker mm. strong drink is raging mm. and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise mm. and of course in abacock 215 said i think 215 and 217 said um give wine mm. let, let, let's let's look at it so that Will not be saying um, yeah, Abacock 2.15 um, says, ah, let me, let, me, let me get it for you so that um, you will be able to back it up with the scriptures mm -hmm. and for you to know that um, <laughs> we are not, uh, say, yes, 2.15 says, Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, mm -hmm. that putteth thy bottle to him, mm -hmm. and maketh, maketh him drunken oh. also. And then you ask the question, well, what we want to give or what we want to accept, we don't have the intention of making that fellow to be drunken. How would you uh, assess that? Mm -hmm. So it's not only even uh, drinking, but the giving. mere fact of giving alone, mm -hmm. the Bible says, woe unto you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah, this one says, good evening, Daddy and Mommy. Please, how do I manage that will not play with his wife in the day, but at night he wants to have sex? He said this is their seventh year in marriage. Mommy, go. <laughs> it's a woman asking the you, question. Yeah. Okay, how do you manage a man mm. who... He's, he's not never, romantic during the day, yeah. and then he wants to touch light. Yeah. Right? The basics, like we all believe we say in a living couple, is to communicate. Mm. Because sometimes the man might, you might think your partner knows where they don't know. Mm. 
So literally, when you have issues in your marriage, the first thing is to take it out. In fact, the Bible even says, God calls us together. I say, come, let's reason together. Mm -hmm. So when you have the issue, instead of boiling, instead of harboring it, mm -hmm. instead of piling it up, why don't you discuss it with your partner? Mm -hmm. that I, that, I, 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 you, you don't do this. You don't do this. And the person might be even acting on ignorance. Mm -hmm. Now, that's number one. Number two, make yourself available to be loved. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of women, we are not even available. We wake up in the morning, we are out of the bed. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we are doing this. We, yes, we claim to be busy, but the man even wants to not the way you are moving in the house. Mm. There's no time. In fact, somebody was saying to me that he come on, it's always yes, we know you are you want to upset everything, but there should be times where you should also sit down and calm down. Look, mm. work doesn't finish. Mm. If you want to do all the work, you, you can't you, finish it. You wake up the next day and see that the, the floor you is dirty. There. No matter how you mop today, mm. it will still get dirty tomorrow. So mm. Calm down sometimes. It will make yourself available for your husband to even love you. Mm. Okay? Mm. Then uh, uh, the, second, the third one is make yourself presentable. Mm. Okay? You see, the character of some women cannot even allow some men to come closer to them. Mm. They are so, apart from not being available, their character puts the man off. Oh. And you see what? The respect and the ego of a man mm. is, is so much there that no matter how sweet your food is, mm. no matter how good looking you are, once you take that respect off that man, mm. he will not be, the baby in him will not come out. Mm. So he will not become, you see the, uh, like they will say, you see the lion or uh, the, the <laughs> whiteness in him. So the man will just stay there. So mm. it is only when he now needs his pressure. He has looked at himself. Mm. I can't commit adultery. Let me go and meet him. I don't have a choice. Mm. So if the man is even left alone, he would not even have come to meet you. Because mm. number one, you're not available. Mm. Number two, you're not respectful. Mm. Number three, you're not even accessible. Mm. So the four, these three, three things, mm. make yourself available, make yourself accessible, and make yourself mm. uh, uh, presentable. So mm. after you have done, our uh, communication too, like we said, mm. okay? After you have done that, and you see that the man is still not aging, mm. like we said, along those processes, remember you must be using prayer, prayer to back to it up. Mm. Then allow the man to also learn. Mm. Some men didn't have a lot of training. Mm. In fact, so, do you know, some men didn't even know that you can hold your wife. Mm. I'm telling you. So men are coming to church. Their wife is going in the front. I think let me join, let me join this one because this question is almost going the okay, same line. Okay. He said, good day, Mars. He said, please, a family friend of mine said his wife refused to sleep with him, even to kiss, to kiss him, saying it is not in the Bible to kiss. Yeah. Yeah. You know you are talking about... <laughs> <laughs> it is in the Bible. <laughs> he said if the wife agrees to sleep with him, it's once in four months. Eh? Ah. So now we... Now this one is saying that... Kissing is not in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And you are talking about even to hold yes, their wives. Yes. yes, it could be ignorant. Mm. It could be ignorant. You see, the Bible says in the book of Genesis that uh, King Albimelech, he saw Isaac mm. through the window mm. kissing his wife. Mm. Another translation says Caressing. King Abimelech looked through the window and saw Isaac caressing, caressing. his wife. Mm. Hmm. Another translation, Bible <laughs> said, Isaac looked, I mean, King Abimelech looked through the window and saw Isaac smooching his wife. Mm. These are in the Bible. Mm. Okay, so, so don't, don't, if you have not read your Bible very well, mm. don't give a wrong interpretation. Mm. God is a loving God. Mm. The Bible says God put Adam and Eve. When he created them, he put them side by side. Mm. He put, he, he brought the woman out and put her beside Adam. And God will come in the cool of the evening to play with them. Mm. So God loves family. Mm. God is even is a, a loving God. Mm. So don't be too. This one ah, that comes once, say, in no, four, once, four, in once in four, four months. months. Ah no. <laughs> see, na desires are there naturally. Mm. You can't. Uh, you see, some people don't know. One of the things you do in marriage. Daddy wants to say something. Yes. We'll yes. Uh, just like what Mommy Good said and what Mommy has said, the Bible tells us in. <laughs> um, <laughs> Second Timothy 2.15, he says, study to show thyself approved unto God. You have to study. Now, if you have not made yourself available to be taught. Because uh, just like I used, we used to tell um, intending couples, the way you practice love as boyfriend and girlfriend is different from how it is in marriage. Mm. Mm. And so if you don't make yourself available to be taught, mm. you won't mm. know. Mm. Now, the question there for somebody to allow... Um, what I'll call 
conjugal rights once in four mm. months mm. is very, very dangerous. Mm. So by my own analysis, it means that they have it, have it four times a year. Oh, well, yes, twice yes, a year. Uh, twice yeah. a year. Three times a year. Three times a year. That, that's dangerous. Once, that is, in, that, once, once in a month is even dangerous. That is ungodly. You, it means you don't understand mm. what marriage is, is all about. about. Mm. If um, you want to have a conjugal what marriage is all about. And if you are talking, uh, mommy was talking the and other time. And they used time. to ask, true. so they used to ask. Mommy you know you read it during the covenant. Yes. When they say you should say after, they, yes. they, they, you will be saying it, that, your body that my belongs. body belongs yes. to this, we will not deny yes. each other and everything, yes. you know. Yeah. Mommy, this thing is true and it is real. And every time we meet here, we always say it. We have said it here in this program. The Lord Jesus himself said it. There are three kinds of eunuchs. There are people that have decided to be eunuch for Jesus. Mm. Apostle Paul is an example. There are people that the world has made them eunuchs, witches and wizards mm -hmm. have made them eunuchs. And then the third category is those people that have come to this world that God himself made them eunuch. Mm. So you have to determine where you belong. Do if we you have, are, do we have if women you, eunuchs too? Ma? Because yes. this is a wife yes. now. No, yes, now yes. you know it's somebody that can't marry. Well, so if you don't, marry. if you decide not to marry, it's in the book of Matthew no, chapter I'm 19. I'm not saying it because you know it's a man that people are always. Yeah. Yeah. Even yeah. we, even females too. So if you if you have made up your mind to marry, you should follow everything. And just like mommy said, you have to make yourself available. The truth of the matter is there are so many people that have not gone through the rudiments. I've said it many times over. You just bought a, 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 a new television set without the, the mm -hmm. manual, and then you want to switch it on. Mm. You don't even know the voltage <laughs> is going to work with. Mm. Get this thing done. Know the rudiment in marriage, and you, you have peace. Mm. It will be shown to you in the Bible if you're a believer. Mm. And if Bible is what you believe in, you have no choice but to comply. Right. And with the help of the Holy Spirit. And the other one, when mommy was asking, how has the wife been looking at the husband? Mommy was talking about communication. Mm. There is a way a wife will look at the husband, mm. inviting the husband. Mm. There's, There's a, a way. way. Mm. The wife will look at the husband. The so husband will know that, yes, too, yeah, the, the this woman are, needs something. This, yeah. But you have not looked at your husband that way. You have not communicated with your yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah. Time you are going on the bed, you wear in coats, oh. wear blankets, <laughs> and shorts from head to toe, and then you put pillow in between. Yeah, hey, put pillow. Hey, yeah. <laughs> and you are not even look like that. Is saying you are not even looking at the man. You don't know that couples when you see that sometimes you look at yourself, you see you yeah. you, you, you you play. Yeah. Some women in the oh, house yes. they are serious. Yes. He's on, they will be watching TV. TV. They don't even know where their yeah, husband walks into the house. Yeah. Mm. Somebody was telling me, a friend was telling me. He said. The wife, I don't want to watch it. There's one particular station. He said the wife was watching it. Eh? The husband came in through the, the back door, door, went into the kitchen, made their bath for himself, okay. warmed the soup and ate, mm -hmm. went into the bedroom to sleep. Uh -uh. The woman just uh, said, Ah, your daddy's supposed to be back. Oh, this uh -huh. is later than usual. Uh -uh, let uh -uh. me call him. Only to be hearing the phone mm -hmm. ringing in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. So he went to the bedroom and said, Sweetheart, you are back. The husband said, I'm back. When uh -huh. I came in, all of you were watching uh, TV. That's a serious I'm one. I'm telling it's you, it's a serious it's one. It's so tell me, a man that was, you were watching TV when he walked mm. in, he has made it about for himself, he has slept, and now you are complaining mm. that the man is not touching you. How will he touch you? Mm. In fact, you should even mm. thank God that the man is looking in his direction. They don't so. care. Hmm. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. We're having so many questions. You know, coming from this same um, issue. They are just, you know, after each other. This one says, uh, um, say good evening, God bless you for this educative program. His question is, what should a man do when his wife keeps giving excuses when it, comes, when it comes to the issue of intimacy? What should a man do in this situation? That the wife keeps giving excuses. excuses. Mm. Uh, there are many things to do. Um, uh, you... Maybe there is something she's lacking you have not been doing. Mm. We, have, we have always been telling um, couples and intending couples that, you know, um, somebody wanted to get married, and we asked the question, when um, has she bought you, has he bought you a gift? Mm. You have never bought a gift to the wife uh, you, you're about to marry, the woman you want to marry, or even after marriage, 
in some cases, once they are married like this, mm. nothing, no more intimacy, no more show of love. Mm. You have to demonstrate that love beyond saying I love you. To say I love you is very easy. You can do that. But beyond that, act it. Mm. It is better to act more of love than to say it. I'm not saying you shouldn't say it, mm. but act it. Mm. If you say you love me, I want to see, I want to see signs. How much of the love you have mm. for me. Action uh, speaks louder uh, than yes, voice. Yeah. And then when we're talking about love, you, 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 you do it with sacrifice. Mm. How much of sacrifice have you made? And mm. uh, you know, to show that you really love. We have said it here many times over. How do you help help her, mm. you know, to, I mean to make the work easier so that you will not uh, overwork herself before you start saying uh, mm. how now. Mm. So those are you know, you know, uh, little little things. You can, can do, do to, to so a man get is telling you what you attention. can do to get the attention mm. Mm. of your wife yeah. and not just only talking she's always making an excuse <laughs> why is she making the excuse yes. so you are hearing from a man oh, let's hear from uh, daddy have said it all. <laughs> see 95 percent of women are the same 60 percent of men are the same like you can trace you can generalize women to the tune of 95 mm. percent that is to say what this woman will respond, respond to, to there is every tendency that this woman will also respond to it mm. to the tune of 90 to 95 percent mm. whereas a man what this man will respond to mm -mm. is a mm -hmm. bit different it's just about 60 percent so mm. you it is better for you to manage women if you really have mm. that true knowledge mm. and what is that true knowledge understand mm -hmm. that women are romantic mm -hmm. Mm. They are emotional. Mm. Mm. They respond. In fact, you see a gift now. A woman is saying, wow, wow. thank <laughs> you. But buy a gift for a man. All you hear is thank you. I mean, mm. what does you want him to say? Mm. It's thank you. Mm. You buy a man car, thank you. Mm. You buy him shoe, thank you. You buy him sweets, thank you. But buy a woman a, a sweet. He will say thank you. But buy her a car. She will say, oh, oh. oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so women, are, they attach so much emotions. So mm. once you know that, mm. You will know how to handle your wife. Mm. Like that he said, you will understand her mm. love language. Mm. So look beyond. And two, find out whether there are medical reasons. Mm. Some of us think that intimacy is just, there are so many people that will tell you after intimacy they have pains. Mm. And because she has pain, she doesn't want to do it. Mm. So mm. You, 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 after intimacy, it's not for you to just sleep. Sometimes after intimacy, even when you are tired and you have slept, when you wake up, turn to your wife and say, baby, how are you? How do you feel? Mm. Both of you talk like the scripture you started with. Mm. Genesis chapter 2 verse 25. They were both naked. Mm. The man and the wife, they are not ashamed. Mm. There is nothing to be ashamed of. You married her. She married you. Mm. So after the whole thing, talk to your wife and say, how do you feel? Mm. Talk to your husband, how do mm. you feel? Is there anything you want me to adjust? Because sometimes the way it is done might not be palatable to the woman. Maybe mm. the woman married as a virgin or the man married as a virgin mm. or they don't know this. Mm. So both of you will pull yourself through. And again, when the woman is getting towards menopause, mm. it's another, another learning challenge. on its own. Mm. So a woman that is already a, uh, go, 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 going through menopause or approaching mm. menopause is going through a lot of emotional change. In fact, she, there is tendency that she will run away. Mm. In fact, she may run away from the bedroom because at that point, she doesn't even want you to touch her at all. Mm. But if you are a well-educated man mm. in, that area, in that area, you will yeah. help her pull through. Mm. When she's rolling, you follow her. Mm. When she's going to the bedroom, uh, to the uh, living room to mm. sleep, you go and meet her. So that's why did you leave the bedroom? Mm. She may be giving you excuses. Yes. The bed is uh, this. The room is cool. But she has what she's running away from. Mm. But because you are a true husband, you help her pull through. Mm. And then the confidence is restored that, mm. ah, yes, I married a man. Yeah. Mm. I'm not that's a boy. A I married a man. And mm. at that time, when yeah. she's in the uh, mm. living room, yes. you can be rubbing her back. Thank well, you. Oh, experience. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> it's not the one that your wife will say I'm not doing, and you two will tell you you are not doing. <laughs> we you two, you will go. We face the wall. You face the wall. Mm. Ah. Mm. 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 <laughs> you have had it all, though. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, but you are, at least you are hearing it raw, life. Eh? So don't just leave her there because she's not coming around. This is how even your husbands too. Thank you, ma. This one said, uh, good evening, thank you for this wonderful program. I want to ask, is it good for a woman to put all her family bills on the husband without putting the husband 
and I don't know, family into consideration. She said, I need enlightenment. Putting all our family bills. I don't know which family now. I, I guess it should be the, the, the wife's, wife's family. family. You know, bringing the bills and putting it on the, the husband. Forgetting. Let's hear from the, the, yeah, <laughs> Okay, let's hear from How do you feel that? Uh, when when uh, we come with our bills? <laughs> no, uh, well, if, it's, if it's the wife's bill, mm. uh, I mean, that one is, uh, it's been incorporated mm. since the time you got married. That's but mm. um, when we have um, extended, the extended family, family it should mm. be discussed. Mm. Again, we have to come to um, communication. Mm. To start with, how did you start the family? Mm. You know, we need to, you know, get all these things done even before getting married. Mm. And that's why when, when they come like that, we ask, who are the people living with you? Mm. You tell us. When you get married, are they still going to live with you? Mm. If they are going to live with you, are you going to manage them? Mm. Are you going to rent an apartment for, for them? Are you going to... So all these things should have been stated. Let's assume it was not stated. Mm. Now you are in need. If you are in need, you need to sit down and talk about it. Mommy started by saying they were both naked. If you study that passage very well, it means that the income of the wife and the income of the husband is known to one another. Mm. And so you base it on, on that. Mm. If your income is 100 naira and you're having a bill of 150 naira, mm. especially from, from the wife's family, how are you going to mind? That's deficit. Mm. It's going to have a devastating blow on the on finance the of the on the farm. And now you have your own children, you have school fees to pay, you have uh, electricity bill and all that. Mm. And so the, the, both the husband and the wife need to sit down and, 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 and really the issue. And, and determine mm. how they want to run the family financially. Mm. It's very, very important. Okay. So that it doesn't have a devastating effect on, on their finances. So in this time and age, mm. a woman depending on a man for every couple it's a monumental mm. error. Mm. Because, you see, the way things are changing every day. Mm. Economy. Except you want to wound that man. Mm. I don't want to use the word kill. Mm. You want to wound that Because the stress of finance is so overwhelming mm. these days. Mm. A man is struggling to pay the house rent. Yeah. He's struggling to pay the school, school fees. fees. School fees that is increasing every, every day. Time. A school, fee, a school reception school is, is coming out. Yeah. I'm seeing some list. 100,000 increase, mm. 50,000 increase, and it's not their fault. Mm. Things generally, and you as a woman now, mm. like Daddy said, the man has incorporated mm. your bill. You are now carrying the bill of your extended family. Bring you want to wound that man. That's mm. just the simple explanation. Mm. So I want to advise every woman listening to me, find something doing. Mm. That you are a housewife doesn't mean you should, be, you should not be productive. Mm. That you are a housewife is a job, mm. okay? Have something doing. By the time you're done with taking care of the children at home, you mm. can look at some other things you can do. You don't even have, the, the world has gone global now. Mm. You don't even have to make money by going anywhere. You can mm. make money while you are seated at home. But because a lot of us as women, we are lazy. In fact, a lot of us as women will be deceiving ourselves. Mm. I need a shop. Mm. Let's, I'm waiting for my husband to get 1.5 million to rent a shop. And I tell people in business, you don't need shop. You need customers first. Mm. When you rent a shop without customers, that shop will collapse. But when you have built the capacity of customers, then you can now say you need a shop. Mm. You don't have customers, you want to buy and invest 1.5 million naira on getting a, a, shop. a shop. You're wasting that money. Why don't you build a network of customers? Start small, mm. business grows. Mm. You start small, you begin to go get evidence, mm. register your presence in, in the market. People know you gradually. Mm. Then you can now say, okay, let me move this forward. Mm. But you, nobody knows you. There are other people doing that thing you are doing, and you mm. think you want to break through the market. No, it's not easy like that. Mm. So women, don't let us be lazy. Don't let us think we can just wake up and uh, I'm waiting until my husband gets 500,000. Until my, that thing, that little, start that puff puff. Mm. Start popcorn. Start donuts. These are things people need now. Everybody is on the move. They need food. Mm. Look at what you can do. There are testimony of women who started making millions of dollars by just making my mind. Mm. So don't sit down at home and say, I'm a housewife, oh. Let him be the one to buy uh, granite. Let him be the one to buy popcorn. Mm. Let him be the one to buy sugar cane. Mm. Please, mm. women, don't let us be lazy. God will help us. Amen. Mm. One said, uh, she is talking about, I think we have almost, he has talked about it a little. He just said, is it right for a husband to tell her wife or his wife the full salary or his income? Mm. 
and I think uh, maybe we have like addressed that issue mm -hmm. that has been uh, plain to each mm -hmm. other. When she knows what you are earning, she will place less demand. Mommy, let's talk on, on it. So even what your wife has made money, she's doing my money, she's doing popcorn. Mm -hmm. And then when the money comes in, she will now use the money to take care of, of her own extended family. She's, without taking care of without, her without, family. Without uh, your nucleus family. Mm. If, if, if that she, is... And she will say, <laughs> my husband's money is to take, take care of our family. Mm -hmm. My own money is to take care of our extended family. It's not going to work. Mm. It's not going to work. Mm. They were both naked. What she has made, you bring it to the table. What I have made, we bring it to the... And we decide on how we slice it. Mm. So we are that, here. That's the way to do it. It is not on one man's uh, uh -huh. head. It has to be. <laughs> because if joint. she doesn't tell me, mm. I'm also going to. I have the likelihood of hiding. hiding your Although home. it's not right, two wrongs can never make, make it, it right. right. But if you want peace in your home, mm. be truthful. Because if you have 100 naira, you cannot ask for the, a bill of. You cannot have a, for something of 200 naira. You will say, we, we, you, all, you know how much I earn. Mm. This is how we are going to spend. Where do you want me to get it from? Mm. You see, there's an intelligence. What if she sells the mama self of puff and she now takes it to her extended family? I think most times, the major problem eh, is not really how much people spend on their extended family. Exactly. It's when they neglect when their family, family and <laughs> they attend to other people first. Yeah. Your wife will not complain mm. if you buy your brother or your sister a house or a car if she's driving one. Mm. But when she's not comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. in your house, then your you... children are starving. <laughs> your wife is starving. Your children's and then you are not sometimes paid. And, uh, thank you, Sma. And then your, your, if a teacher is pursuing your child and mm. then they announce your name mm. that you gave a donation of 500,000. <laughs> <000. laughs> that house will not be, you know, so mm. sometimes the problem mm. is not helping others because some mm. men will come and say, my wife doesn't want me to help people. Mm. No, that's yeah. not what she's saying. Mm. She's saying pay attention to the family. But the time things are up, look, mm. women, let me, explain, let me tell you one of the weakness of women. Women are proud. You know how? A woman wants to showcase her husband. Mm. Ah, a woman is happy when she hears it's my husband that gave them this. So that's not our problem. Let me give you that secret. It's not the problem of women. Mm. Women love to showcase. They like to, uh, uh, women love uh, show off. You, you are as a husband, you gave one million. Hey, you see the woman, she's happy. But when there is no food in the house no. and mm. you gave that one million, that's when the problem mm. comes. Mm. So the problem is not you giving the one million. The it problem is, is when you sure give the one home. million with at the detriment of, of your, your home. home. So mm. let's set it right. Mm. Giving is not a problem, but give in the right and proportion. The right, yeah. And do it properly. Really? That we make everybody have peace yeah. at home. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, sir. Uh, this one says, good evening, living couple. I find this program so interesting, and I pray God will keep the program going in Jesus' name. Amen. Said his wife doesn't love, his wife doesn't call for lovemaking, and he has been the one calling her or going to her to make love. He says, should this stop or also be watching or... <laughs> or should he, or should he keep on going? Let's start from. Yeah, go. Well, um, patience and learning. Mm. I don't know how long they've been married. Mm. If it's a new marriage, keep going. Mm. Maybe she's just coming out mm. of her shell. Mm. Okay, so don't don't lose uh, patience. And then I tell people, don't go into marriage with so much expectations. Mm. A lot of us go into marriage, we we even fantasize. Mm. I am going to be on bed. <laughs> my, my wife will just make breakfast. <laughs> my husband will make breakfast oh and me. And then you are shocked mm. in this Lagos that the man you are waiting or the woman you are waiting to bring breakfast on bread mm. is already out by 6.30 or mm. 7. Mm. seven. So seven. That, or 5.30. <laughs> Some go by 5. <laughs> so that breakfast in bed is not realistic mm. except on a public holiday. Mm -hmm. So don't come into marriage with so many fantasies mm. just come and uh, just just be just hope, uh, hope on god and flow be, with god just flow, flow with god. god don't 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 expect anything <laughs> big so that mm. you don't get disappointed mm. okay so if you are the only one initiating it and the marriage is just coming out we don't know how old because you didn't specify mm, how, old how old your marriage is so please go ahead mm. and like we said uh, initially it could be because she doesn't know there are some culture where women don't, in fact, they have been warned 
that if you do it, you are going to be seen as a promiscuous person. So mm. she's living by the terms and conditions. Even when she's born with desire, mm. she's been taught that don't you speak don't out. So you are the one that will now help her. And that mm. keeps saying on this program that each marriage is unique. Mm. Each marriage is, 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 is special. It's special you, can't, you, you can't have two marriage living, uh, looking alike. So mm. find out where your wife is coming from. Maybe mm. she's from where... Uh, no, and tell you two or three, mm. the spiritual aspect. There are some people too who believe that spiritually mm. a woman shouldn't go in that line. Mm. They feel that, and as, as a Christian woman, they have been taught that way. I'm mm. telling you the truth. They have been taught that way that when you marry except your husband comes. Mm. There are some people who have been taught like that. So when you now want your wife to come, mm. there is duty on you. Mm. To not be the one to teach her. Look, as a man, you are the priest over your wife. Mm. When she comes into your house, you are teaching her a new set of things. Mm. Okay? You are the one that will now tell, bring her up how you want to enjoy her. Mm. So, but some men, they get easily tired. Please, that is, we are encouraging you. Don't get tired. Mm. Keep teaching us. We will learn, especially mm. when the marriage is new. It's young. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The, the aspect uh, where Mommy said, uh, the person that asked the question, the, I, I think it's a husband yeah. said, um, we, we, is it possible for him to stop? Yeah. You, you don't have to stop. Have you? Mm. you have to keep, <laughs> keep, ask, coming. keep asking. Then keep asking. I, I want you to look at the time. We, I'm sure you have uh, heard about communication. You look at uh, when you are both relaxed. You can just put the question across to her. Huh? Honey, or sunshine, I've noticed that... Uh, <laughs> sunshine! <laughs> I've noticed that, uh, and then you put the question, question across. Yeah. At that time, she would tell you her mind. Mm. And then you'll be able to let her know there's nothing wrong in you asking for it. Mm. And of course, if you have gone through marriage counseling, mm. sex in marriage is a topic you would have been told. Mm. Like what, you know, you are both saying the same thing talking about reorientating mm -hmm. some women, mm -hmm. especially our culture, culture. Yes, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. You are not to talk about it. Mm -hmm. You are not to say, don't show mm -hmm. interest. Mm -hmm. Until he comes. Yeah, until he comes. They will say. Uh -huh. So just like, you know, I remember the time we were talking about a woman changing style. Mm -hmm. And the husband said, eh, yeah. hey, you have started uh, yeah. sleeping mm -hmm. with neighbor, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> so it, it's something that we need to talk about and we have to re-educate ourselves the lord will help us so husband mm -hmm. please don't stop coming no <laughs> at least she's not she didn't say i'm not she didn't say i'm not coming i'm not mm -hmm. agreeing mm -hmm. if you come mm -hmm. and she agrees i keep coming mm -hmm. until she gets it mm -hmm. right. right yes i think somebody is still after this uh, issue of uh, wine they are not comfortable he said what if the parents of the lady are pagans and they ask the man to buy the uh, the, the the marriage materials with money you know, remember they are, they, they are enjoying, they are to enjoy the drinks, food and everything during the program. So mm -hmm. he's still talking about that, uh, mm -hmm. that if they are pagans. Uh, I, I want our viewers to know, especially the young ones, intending couple. We always tell them that your parents, they have done their marriage. Mommy good, am I right? Yes, sir. Mm. They have done their marriage. Mm -hmm. So this is your show. Mm -hmm. If it is your show, and you're a believer, you have ability to pray to God, and I can give you so many examples. You have to decide, and it's not only alcohol, mm. anything that is offered unto idol, mm. anything, because it is your show. Because tomorrow there's, there's going to be, you are going to be having challenges. Mm. Whom are you going to run to? Mm. When, you have, you, when you have laid the foundation of your marriage, giving materials offered unto idols, alligator pepper, Kola not, and all those things. I'm telling you, you have laid, you have, you have laid the foundation of your marriage as if it has been covenanted to the devil. And now when you have challenges, it's not a joking matter. It's something you have to be serious about. And that's why we always say pray. When you pray, God will answer. When you pray, and I can tell you, uh, maybe my wife is, is watching now. Two years before we got married, we settled this. Because she went to her, her, her dad, he said, you will not collect palm wine on my head. Mm. And the man said, is that all you want? So we settled that one. So mm. we are not just talking, we are talking practically. It is doable. So many people have done it. And, and unfortunately, some people don't do it well. The fellow we meet is water. So it's not mm. only alcohol, anything that is offered unto us. And that's why we always say, 
make yourself available for counseling. Mm. When you do that, it is your counselor that will tell you when you will go and collect the list. Because before you go to collect the list, you must have prayed. Your prayer will have softened the heart of the fellow that mm. is giving the list. Mm. And so when you go there, you say, ah, sir, we can't give this. Instead of two cartons of beer, we will give you four cartons of malt drink. It's not that you don't have the money. And mommy was asking a question. And uh, some people will say, after all, I'm not giving them. Let me give them money. You have compromised. Mm. Because that money, they will go and use it to buy what you say you don't want. And it will be written against you. Mm. So there are so many compromises. Mm. This is a serious matter. There are so many people that are having problems in their marriages because of, the Bible it's says, those, those things that does, does easily beset us. beset us. Let's mm. avoid it. Mm. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Want to have okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, this one says, our husbands always take gifts to a single mother's, <laughs> single woman's house. <laughs> and recently, the woman visited her house without notice. He said it shouldn't be, he said, should it be like that? Ask again. She, the man always, <laughs> the takes, man always takes gifts <laughs> to, to a single woman's house. Mm. And recently, the woman visited her own house without notice. He said, should it be like that? There are two sets of women a married man should be careful of. Mm. Single women and widows. Mm. God bless you, man. Mm. Especially <laughs> men that have ministries. Ministry. Mm. And another error men should run away from is if my wife, wife alone. Mm. I mean, there is no, let, let's take it one of, number one, it is even wrong mm. for you to be going to give a single sis, a single woman gift in her house. Why? Mm. Why? Why a house? Mm. Look, if you want to run away from sin, run away from sin well. All that sins in the Bible, mm. God says don't do, don't do, don't mm. do. He comes to adultery, say flee. Mm. And you are romancing. Because going to somebody's house, it's mm. like going to, in fact, not temptation. even only romance, hugging. Because for you to have gone to a house, mm. you have created an, an, an a, a, atmosphere. A, a, a atmosphere conducive for that sin to happen. Mm. And to make it worse, you are not even going there with, without, you are going there without your wife. Mm. If there is any gift you want to give to a single woman, let your wife know, mm. carry her along, and be careful. Mm. Because some of these women can be set as traps. Mm. And we keep saying on this program, whenever your wife is warning you, mm -hmm. be careful of this woman. Mm -hmm. Look, mm -hmm. there are two people called helpers in the Bible, the Holy Spirit and the woman. <laughs> two people called helpers in the Bible. Mm -hmm. God made the Holy Spirit and gave the women the ministry of to be helpers. Mm -hmm. In fact, sometimes your wife is saying something. She may not have the right words, but she's saying this thing. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Mm -hmm. She's a helper meet for you. Listen mm -hmm. to her. Mm. Don't say, I am the anointed person here. Mm. I am the pastor here. Mm. The anointing is flowing. Oh. Remember, sir, remember Joseph was anointed? <laughs> yes, he took the option to flee. He ran. Ah, mm. hey, hey, hey. As anointed as Joseph was, he flee. If but he ran. You, mm. The anointing that, even when they are praying in vigil, you are sleeping. That's the anointing you, you carry. Yet, you are, yes, you, see, you are not running. You are not running. Hmm. My, 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 my addition to what mommy said, my addition, the addition I have to what mommy said is this. You, uh, you, maybe you're a pastor, you are going into a widow's house. Mm -hmm. What impression are you giving that widow? Mm -hmm. Even if that widow did not have any ulterior motive, motive. You, you went there alone with a gift. And you know what the Bible says about a gift, mm -hmm. giving of gifts. Mm -hmm. Then number two, what would neighbors or your parishioners, what would they say? Pastor going into the house of you should mm. flee, mm. run away from it. I remember somebody had a scenario like this. She complained that her husband has a ministry, mm. and uh, this lady is a widow, mm. you know. So, the husband, because of she's a young widow, the husband tried to make sure that you know the family, mm. you know, come. I think they brought her close to themselves. Mm. She comes to their house with the children and everything. Mm. They got her apartment. But, you know, the wife later discovered that even if, if she wants to do anything, she will be calling the husband. Instead of her. Instead of her. Mm. And then if she wants to go anywhere, she will be demanding that the husband sends the driver to come and pick her or the husband come to pick her. Mm. She wants to travel. She wants to pack her load mm. to a house. Or the car must. And the husband has been doing that. And the wife will say, 
I'm not, this thing is not okay. Mm -hmm. But the husband is fighting her that uh, she's been too, you know, emotional. She's mm -hmm. reacting, overreacting to this issue. And she's saying, look, as a man of God, you are not supposed to do this kind of a thing. You know, some people just don't see. They feel just like you said, mm. anointing. Mm. I am anointed, it can never happen. Mm. I am anointed, it can never We are hearing it, oh. Mm. You want to say something, man? Let yeah. me teach you how, let me teach people that are listening, how they can flee from this, how you can know whether the woman is sincere or not. Mm. The next time that woman says, come and pick me, give your phone to your wife. If she continues that conversation, then she's getting you. Such women don't continue no such conversation. conversation. Mm. Try them. The first time they call your line, let your wife be the one to pick. Hey, hello, ma. Mm. You see, they will be shocked. Mm. That's the first thing that they will say, okay, it's a mistake. Let them call again. Give it to your wife. Hello, ma. A woman came to confess. She was shocked. Mm -hmm. God gave this pastor wisdom. Mm. This pastor, uh, the woman, a widow, called and said, please, I want to bless you. Give me your mm. account number. Mm. So the man just innocently just sent the account number. The, man's, the woman sent some money. But the pastor discovered that after the sending of money, the man's the woman started coming close unnecessarily. Mm -hmm. We'll be calling at 11.30 yeah. wow. and say, Pastor, please, I need prayer. Yeah. And you know when they want to hide, they say mm, prayer. 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 So when the pastor thank God for the Holy Spirit, when the pastor knew that this thing was you know, going what out of prayer. Hand, the next time the woman demanded for a account number, yeah. he sent the account number of his wife. wife. The, man, the woman didn't transfer money. That's it. The woman did not transfer money. That's it. Mm. You know what the wife not do? The wife now said, ah, thank you, ma, for the last money you sent to pastor. Mm. The woman, you know the question the woman said, pastor told you. Mm. He said, yeah, pastor yes, told me. Mm -hmm. That was the last that time. That was the end. Because the woman both did naked. not believe. Both naked, naked and they were yeah, not ashamed. ashamed. Yeah, the woman did not believe that. Oh, <laughs> so pastor can't money because the mm. woman knows that money can be tempting to men. Mm. Yeah. So for a man to be open enough to tell his wife that somebody gave me money, money. Mm. she backed out. Mm. So men, please help yourself. Mm. Mm, especially okay. those in the ministry, mm, listen mm. to your wife when she's talking. Okay. You're getting too close, too yes. close, too close. And she's saying, watch it. Mm. And you feel anointing. I am anointed. <laughs> <laughs> anointing. God will help us. Amen. Yes, I don't know if you have a word for us. I know you have. It's not that I don't. I know you have. Because we have been talking mostly the issues of sex and intimacy and so on has been coming in and how to take care of. So let me start with the man first. Uh, well, uh, I have a word too. Mm. Let me just uh, <clears throat> praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, what I have is from uh, the book of 31 to 32. Mm. It says, Let all bitterness, mm. wrath, mm. and anger, and clamor, mm. and evil speaking mm. be put away from you with all malice. I've, I've written out these six things and I discovered that all six, they are family of anger. Mm. The Bible says that we should flee. From we it. should not allow it. We should put it away. Mm. If we are able to do that, um, the, we will allow the Holy Spirit in our homes. Hey, thank and you there so will be much. joy and laughter. Okay. And it will be in your home in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> okay, Ma. The Bible says submitting to one to another <laughs> in love. Mm. I want to beg people that are listening to us that marriage is not just a one-person effort. Mm. It's, 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 it requires the effort of the both of you. Don't expect that your husband will be the one to carry everything. Mm. Don't expect that your wife will be the one to carry everything. Submit, submit. Yes, mm. the Bible has given the man some specific gender rules. Like the Bible says a man that cannot provide for his family, okay, is worse than an infidel. Then the Bible also gave the woman some specific gender mm -hmm. roles that a woman should take care of the home. Yes, it's in the Bible, book of Titus chapter 2. The Bible says that a woman is the one that makes the home, that builds mm -hmm. the home. Yes. Now, that does not mean that if that man is down financially, you cannot help. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of us women, we can even abuse the man. Can't you see the Bible? Go and read. You know some women, <laughs> it is when they want to abuse that they suddenly know the Bible. Bible. Mm. When it's time to pray, they don't know mm. the Bible. But they want to abuse. Ah, when they, they really want to accuse. Accuse. Mm. They will now remind the man that mm. the Bible says yes. a man that cannot fit. Look, yes, that same Bible that mm. says it. That same Bible also says submitting one, one to, to another. another. So please, you can help. School fees is approaching. Mm. Help your husband. Mm. School fees okay? is approaching. It's approaching. You know. And for those of you that house rent is due, Help your, your husband. husband. Mm. Set the spiritual temperature of your home. Let it be perfect. We keep saying on those programs, prayer together. Yes, let's prayer. pray. Devotion. Pray and always Very pray important. together. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Yes, ma. And before we go, we want to just a short word of prayer from Pastor Mrs. Mm -hmm. Gold. 
Eternal Rock of Ages, we want to return Thank the glory you, back Daddy to Lord. you. Mm. Lord, we promise at the beginning of this program that we are going to return the glory back to you. Because mm. you alone deserve it. Mm. And so, Lord, we are here to say, accept the glory to every home listening to us tonight. We ask, oh God, that the heights of their understanding will be enlightened. Mm. That which you want every one of us to know, let us know. Amen. Amen. That which you want us to do, let us do. Amen. Amen. That which you want us to correct, give us the grace to correct. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And Lord, like we always pray, anytime the trumpet will sound, Amen. help us to be raptured. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank sir. You, you have had it all. We need to work together. You need mm. to submit one to another. Mm. And anger, take it out mm. of it. Mm. Malice, take it out of it. When you do that, the Holy Spirit will move in your home. There will be peace. There will be joy. Mm. And for as many that are watching and having challenge, I know as you have had today, the Holy Spirit will visit your Amen. home. Amen. And it will turn things around for you. Amen. In the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. This is how far we can go today. And I know you will still come next week, Sunday. We are still going to be here. Mm -hmm. We are going nowhere. No shit. We will be here if Jesus tarries. I want to say thank you to everyone watching, all our viewers, for your comments and for your uh, appreciation. We want to say thank you. And for all our camera people and all the crew members, we are saying thank you. Once again, thank you, Pastor. Thank yes, you, Pastor, Mrs. Yes, the man. Lord bless you mightily in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. I remain Oluwato Yolale. Until we come your way, same time next week, keep watching and keep waiting because the Lord is on your side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Bye. Bye.